Maybe this is late in the story to ask, but hold up. Who is Jesus, anyway? Sometimes his identity is subtle, especially in Mark, where there seems to be what scholars call a messianic secret. Yes, the demons seem to know who he is, and sometimes the disciples get it, but he's kind of low-key about it at times in Mark's gospel. For example, look in chapter 8, where his disciples finally say it out loud, but Jesus then shushes them. Then he asks them, but who do you say I am? Peter replied, you are the Messiah. But Jesus warned them not to tell anyone about him. Jesus isn't trying to obscure who he really is, but it seems he waits to reveal more and more for certain moments. One of these big moments comes quite early in Mark, here in chapter four. Jesus, as Mark narrates, will sometimes show more than tell who he is. Jesus and his squad are crossing the Sea of Galilee when a storm starts a ruin. As evening came, Jesus said to his disciples, let's cross to the other side of the lake. So they took Jesus in the boat and started out, leaving the crowds behind, although other boats followed. But soon, a fierce storm came up. High waves were breaking into the boat, and it began to fill with water. Jesus was sleeping at the back of the boat with his head on a cushion. The disciples woke him up, shouting, Teacher, don't you care that we're going to drown? When Jesus woke up, he rebuked the wind and said to the waves, Silence, be still. Suddenly, the wind stopped. There was a great calm. Then he asked them, Why are you afraid? Do you still have no faith? The disciples were absolutely terrified. Who is this man? They asked each other. Even the wind and waves obey him. This scene, which appears in all three of the synoptic gospels, that's Mark, Matthew, and Luke, draws to mind a lot of imagery from the Old Testament scriptures. A little reminiscent of Jonah the prophet, though Jesus is a foil, a willing and obedient shipmate rather than a reluctant and disobedient one. Come on, Jonah. But perhaps most interestingly is the other figure Jesus reminds us of, God himself. From the Exodus account, no one else in the Bible has the power to command the sea into obedience, none but Yahweh, the living God. He is the one that told the wind to part the waves as the Israelites were led through the waters to freedom. This gets us into what theologians call Christology. It's all about who Jesus is. Mark calls Jesus the Messiah, the long-awaited savior and king. Jesus is the son of man, an apocalyptic deliverer described by the book of Daniel. He is the son of David, the royal descendant, the once and future king. Jesus is the son of God. And yes, as we see here, Jesus is God himself. Later theologians would articulate these complexities within a Trinitarian framework, a God that is three in one, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Spirit. At any rate, here in Mark, this calming of the storm draws us to meditate on the implied answer to the disciples' question. Who is this man?